African Americans and Latinos, they don't manufacture, they don't make guns. You know, so how are they getting into the community? My son Terrell was jolly. He loved to tell jokes, very talented, could sing. And his dream was to travel around the world and be this famous gospel bass player. And he was on his way because he was having opportunities to travel with different groups. And actually, he's in his first year of college. And I said, Yep, as long as you just stay in school, I'll pay for it. You know, that was the little deal we had between the two of us. She was 21 years old. She was a student at Northern University. She was in her last year. Smart in school, taking honors classes. He loved school because he made so many friends. Looking at him, you wouldn't think that he had a goofy bone in his body, but that's the same thing that said about me. I said, well, he got it honestly. He had just started riding the bus frequently after school uh, because we always were able to pick him up and drop him off to and from school, and we, you know, we figured he was getting older. And he wanted to be with his friends a lot, you know. They were all good kids. We, we got to stop the gun flowing into our neighborhoods. There's more guns in our community than there's books. It was a summer night. She was sitting in the car with her friends. They were on their way to a party on that block. And she was the only one that was shot and killed. She was 21 years old. He took his girlfriend to church. He went early. He had rehearsal with a, a choir that he was going to play with. So when he came out to help his friend get drums out of a car, somebody came by shooting. We're going to take you now to Chicago, where this past weekend at least 52 people were shot, eight of them killed in a wave of violence across the city. Shocking new developments in the shooting of a nine-year-old Chicago boy. Witnesses tell the police the 15-year-old sophomore had just finished taking exams at King College Prep. The honor roll student from Perspective IIT Academy gunned down just before one this morning. Fryer. Just weeks ago, the 20-year-old won a renowned modeling contest. She was shot dead as she Yesterday, left. Blair Holt boarded the CTA bus. A young man boarded the bus, pulled out a gun, started shooting. Three girls and two and boys were hit. A girl shot in the head by a stray bullet and died this morning. 2013 is barely a month old, and already 42 murders in the city of Chicago. It would, it would be a national crisis if this were happening in white communities. 